the Gaza-Egypt border crossing at Rafa, briefly open for business but only for students and those needing medical treatment. It's been closed since last Wednesday after a bomb attack in Sinai. Egypt's military justified the closure, saying the crossings and tunnels near it are being used to smuggle arms into Egypt in support of the Muslim Brotherhood. I have been held here for a long time. My children have not been able to start schools for more than one month. I also received many warnings from my employer. I might have lost my job by now. I missed the start of the academic year. I was supposed to have left for Alexandria a month ago. Further down the border, there's a tense standoff. Only a few meters separate Egypt's military and Palestinian security forces. Gaza's chief of security briefs his forces on details of a military drill. This drill and deployment comes without any coordination with the Egyptian authorities. We hope we can establish coordination with them in order to maintain order and security across the border. Gaza's security forces deny sending weapons into Egypt. They've repeatedly criticized Egypt's closure of the border and says it hurts Palestinian people who need to cross into Egypt for business and humanitarian reasons. Palestinian fishermen have also complained that they're being harassed by Egypt's navy. We are surprised by these offenses. We demand these violations be stopped. They are unacceptable. The Al-Qassam Brigades, the military wing of the Hamas movement, has been accused of being behind the smuggling of arms. These are groundless fabricated media reports. Our enemy is Israel. We have no intentions, nor are we acting against any other country. Back at the Rafah border crossing, there's welcome relief for those able to cross into Egypt. But for most people living in the Gaza Strip, the restricted 48-hour opening is not enough. They say any closure is unwarranted and makes life even harder for a population already living under occupation. Tarek Vesley, Al Jazeera.